Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's Glenn Kellaway coming to you from the basement with a huge smile on my face. I am so frigging excited. So, Paul McCartney has been putting out these amazing uh, deluxe edition archive series sets from the McCartney album up to... I'm not sure where they're going. I think the next one's going to be London Town and Back to the Egg. So, um, but... Um, they have been kind of out of my reach financially. They come out and they're like 200 bucks, 250 bucks, and I just, I'm just having trouble coming up with the cash. Um, I always drool over the people that have them, um, and I would love to own some. So the other day, I'm on Facebook Marketplace, and I just go on there in my local area, and I plug in names of, you know, I'll plug in Paul McCartney or Beatles or something just to see what comes up. To my amazement, comes up, the guy lives probably, well, about a three-hour drive from me. He's got two McCartney Deluxe Edition Archive Series sets for $80 each, or if you buy two, $150. I immediately contacted him and said, are these still available? Yes, they are. So I ended up with two of these sets for 150 bucks, which I think is amazing. 75 bucks each. Go online and look them up and see how much these are going for. It's ridiculous. They're out of print. And uh, without me telling you which sets I got, I'm, it just came in the mail. So I'm just going to open this up and we'll look at them together. I'm so excited. This is amazing. And they weren't supposed to show up until Tuesday, according to the Canada Post tracker. And they came today, just in time for the weekend. And I am going to spend Friday afternoon listening and looking at these beautiful sets. Okay, come on. I'm either going to cut my finger off, or I'm going to get the sets are going to come out of the bag. One or the other is going to happen here very shortly. Oh, sorry about this. Uh, almost ready. Almost ready to come out. i got to put it down the floor so I don't cut myself. How are you guys doing? It's a Friday afternoon. Kind of chilly outside. Uh, this Sunday, uh, my friend Robert from Robert's on my turntable and I are heading to Oshawa, Ontario to a record show. We're going to probably grab a few albums so Monday I'm gonna have a bunch more stuff to show I'm sure and I'm sure Robert will as well uh, tomorrow afternoon Saturday afternoon four o'clock Canadian stud muffin channel live chat it's always fun I'm almost ready to go here okay here we go done all right the first one you ready McCartney. Look at that. Beautiful. Man, it's in just mint condition. My number is 21,091. Limited edition. So it comes with... There's the, uh, the little blurby sheet that always comes with all this stuff. So it's a second release in the Paul McCartney Archive Collection. Personally supervised by Paul McCartney. Three discs, two CD, one DVD, numbered deluxe edition, original 13-track album remastered at Abbey Road Studios, seven previously unreleased bonus tracks, DVD featuring rare and previously unseen footage, including performances of Suicide and Hottest Sun, plus downloadable resolution audio versions, all set within a 128-page book containing many previously unpublished photos by Linda and Paul McCartney. The book features album artwork and a full history of the making of the album, complete with a new interview with Paul and expanded track-by-track -track information. Very cool. So the first disc is, uh, is the album, Remastered. The second CD is bonus audio, so uh, a song called Suicide. It's an outtake. Maybe I'm Amazed from One Hand Clapping. Every Night, live in Glasgow, 79. Uh, Hottest Sun, live in Glasgow, 1979. 
Uh, maybe I'm amazed, live in Glasgow 79, Don't Cry Baby, an outtake, and Womankind, a demo in mono. And then the bonus file uh, on the DVD video, the album story, the beach, maybe I'm amazed, music videos, suicide from one hand clapping, every night live from concert for people at Camp Ch Chikia. I don't know. Hottest Sun live in concert for the people of the same place. Seven Junk MTV Unplugged, and that would be something MTV Unplugged. Very cool. These are, so in the back are the three discs, two CD, one DVD audio er, video. Uh, inside we have ourselves, oh, the Black Album. Uh, let's see. I know you guys, like Larry's, if Larry's fans are watching this, I know you like to scan these books when Larry holds them up. So, um, introduction. Let's see if there's just a few pictures and stuff in here. Paul McCartney talking. Lots of pictures. We'll just kind of go through and take a couple more. Uh, oh, pictures of Paul's guitars. And, uh, yeah, the McCartney album. One of my favorite McCartney solo releases. It was, it's great. You know, when it first came out, it didn't get a lot of love. Um, you know, he, the Beatles were still kind of on their last legs. And, uh, but uh, it's an amazing album. I love it. Paul played all the instruments on it. And, uh, yeah, fantastic record. Uh, okay, so that's the McCartney set. Number one, the second set I got is... Band on the Run. Another beautiful set. Beautiful hardcover book. Uh, 43562 is my number. Now this one, oh yeah, I got the sheet for this too. Let's see. Uh, hold on a second. It's, it's kind of taped in there, so I'm not going to take it out, but I will read it to you so we know what's going on. This is the first relief in, release in the uh, archive series. I did not know that, so learn something new. This was released before McCartney. Uh, this is a four-disc set, three CDs, one DVD. Uh, original nine-track number one album remastered at Abbey Road Studios. Nine bonus audio tracks, including the hit single Helen Wheels. Remastered documentary disc featuring interviews and alternative versions of the album tracks. DVD disc includes music videos, rare footage of the McCartneys in Lagos, behind the scenes at the album cover shoot in London's uh, Sturley Park, as well as the one-hand clapping television special highlighted by studio performances filmed at Abbey Road in 1974. All set within a 120-page book containing many previously unpublished images from Linda McCartney and Clive Aerosmith. Album and single artwork and a full history of the album. Complete with a new interview with Paul and expanded track by track info for all four discs. Uh, the first disc is a remastered album. The second disc, bonus audio tracks. We got Helen Wheels, Country Dreamer, Bluebird from One Hand Clapping, Jet from One Hand Clapping, Let Me Roll It from One Hand Clapping, Band on the Run from One Hand Clapping, 1985 from One Hand Clapping, Country Dream Dreamer from One Hand Clapping, and Zoo Gang. The third CD is an audio documentary, remastered, remastered documentary disc originally produced for the 25th anniversary releases of Band on the Run, featuring interview contributions from Paul McCartney, Linda McCartney, Denny Lane, Jeff Emmerich, Tony Visconti, Al Curry, Clive Aerosmith, James Coburn, John Conte, Kenny Lynch, Michael Parkinson, Christopher Lee, Clement Freud, and Dustin Hoffman. DVD is a bonus film. Band on the Run music videos, Mamunia vi music video, uh, album promo featuring Band on the Run, Mrs. Vanderbilt, 1985, Bluebird, Helen Wheels music videos, Wings in Lagos, Osterley Park, and One Hand Clapping. 
There are the discs. And uh, let's see what's going on here. I'll just open up random pages so we can see what's going on. Beautiful book. These are beautiful hardcover books. Fantastic. You get the idea. Anyway, I am so frigging excited to have these. You know what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day and into tomorrow. So, um, yeah, fantastic. Big smile. And uh, peace out, everyone. Hope you have a great day and a great weekend. We'll talk soon.